it's what's on your curriculum map it's what's on your curriculum plan so you know why do you do this topic after this topic or before that topic that's the sort of question that's being teased out in um deep dives so it's actually getting particularly subject leaders heads of department in, you know it's certainly in secondary school to think carefully about sequencing mapping and this sort of thing and i for me the jury it is important but the jury is out for me over just how important it is first class classroom teaching you know you can have a, a, a crap curriculum but it can be taught well you can have a brilliant curriculum and it can be taught badly what is a broad curriculum it's very difficult to actually pin down on this because it is so it is so vague um you know what makes a good curriculum oh well it's got to be broad it's got to have ambition well again those words will mean different things to different people it is interesting that the emphasis is on what you are planning to teach rather than what you are actually teaching i think ofsted's almost created a problem for itself in that which is the better school is it the school that has these fantastic intentions but doesn't fully deliver them and the school that has lesser intentions more manageable intentions and does fulfill them which is the better school now if you say well it's the latter one you are therefore saying that actually outcomes are still the deciding factor we're not if you say that you're saying well actually we're not really interested in what you intend to do <laughs> what we're interested in is what you actually do do and therefore we're right back to where we started that what will really determine your outcome is how good your exam results are and and really what they're saying is well it's something that's very similar to the national curriculum um so you know basically if you said well in my school we're not going to teach french but we're going to teach them all plumbing and brick laying you would be absolutely slated the fact they might all get a well-paid job at the end of it is neither here nor there so it, it is very it's vague it's unclear and I'm not sure they are absolutely clear what they're looking for. Um, but also it is, to be honest, it's quite subjective. For, for, for all the, and we know all the failures of using exam results. Um, you know, there are, there are dangers there, but at least it is an objective, constant, across all schools, across all the, uh, the, the, the whole country. Um, judging your curriculum is, I think Ofsted is now recognising that school is about much more than just exam results and just goes what goes on in the classroom. So looking at extracurricular activities, looking at music, sport, drama, and again, having now read dozens of reports using the new framework, schools are either lauded to the heavens because they have fantastic extracurricular activities or they're slated because you know you don't do anything outside the classroom for these kids so it, th there's no doubt about it that whole person character development is a very positive thing and, and it's very important to Ofsted but I, I think the curriculum is deemed by Amanda Spielman to be more to be more important here's a couple of quotes you know she I, I want a rigorous debate about what children should learn you know not a debate about how it's taught i want a rigorous debate about what children should uh, should learn and i want to encourage schools to think more about what they are teaching and what they aim to get from that teaching and uh, that quotation i gave actually from a report which from a, was from a school in kent um, you know the curriculum is not sufficiently planned this limits the standards the kids get there's something wrong in the curriculum you're using according to the inspector that is holding these kids back it's not because they're badly behaved or the teaching snaff it's something to do with the curriculum this is i think incredibly telling but this came from a basically a secondary modern school so a, a, a school where the top 25 30 percent has been creamed off by the local grammar school and it was given ri requires improvement and the key statement was pupils are not always to, able to remember or describe their learning 
And it goes on to say that within their curriculum, they have not catered for factual learning, factual recall, 